Hello guys welcome to celebrity news and lifestyle where we give you the right update and all of what you will like to know, so if you're new here or if at all, you're just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button, so that you don't miss in any of my uploads. uploads.bayance at soldier field. Bag policy, transit options, tickets the Bay will be buzzing around Soldier Field July 22 and 23, when Bayance's Renaissance World Tour makes a two-day stop in Chicago. Whether you're traveling near or far for the Bayance spectacle, here's what you need to know to catch the show at Soldier Field. Bag policy and other stadium rules Soldier Field has a strict clean bag policy that does not allow bags larger than a clutch, briefcase, backpack or purse. Any bags you take into the stadium must be clear, and no larger than 12x6x12 clear plastic gallon freezer bags are also permitted. Cameras with lenses larger than 6 inches umbrellas anyone who has traveled Lake Deucible Shore, if you are driving to a Bears game or concert at Soldier Field, or any other main street in Chicago, avoid it. However, if you prefer a car, there are several parking options to consider. Parking spaces around the stadium can be purchased in advance on Soldier Field's website. Pitches cost about $55. The Millennium Garages, which is about a 25-minute walk from the lot, also has parking for about $25 when purchased online in advance. CTA The closest L station to Soldier Field is the Roosevelt Red Line station, about a 20-minute walk from the stadium. For fans wanting to avoid the walk, bus number 146 stops at